after Bill had uh, had the camera repaired we came back again to the Lake District in late July and we did Great Gable and the following day we did the Red Pike High Style Ridge so that's quite a good one is that so sit back and enjoy this little program. Well hello there and welcome to part two of this video. That's the, uh, if you want that one you can wear it, it's in here. This is? The one I wore with this year. Hey, I've worn this before, David. You look after that, haven't you? Yes, I wore this for bloody miles. <coughs> and so on our second visit to the lakes in 1993, there was an extra man in the party, Ken Chinner, who we picked up at Aberford on the way up. I had my vivid bag out last time. Yeah. It was that bloody windy. We got to the top of the... Fairfield. Fairfield. So Bill took up his position with his camera about halfway up from Honister Hostel, which we see below us, as the party of David Morgan, Alex Hurd, Ken Chinner and Gordon Simey made their way up towards Great Gable. You catch little snatches of conversation as yes. people are walking past. It was Dolly Parton last time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Who's that other one? Our favourite, Gordon? That's, Dolly, Dolly that's something Pat Molly Parkin. Yeah. So, you know, we, we invaded next door. And I mean, that was just the same thing as him trying to find the UFOs. Of course. He didn't tell me until after I was coming out that, that it was wrong out. I didn't know, really. Well, that was Alex explaining to Ken about uh, Derek Gash's next door neighbour and a couple of navigational problems on the previous walk. This is where we got to earlier in the year when it was snowing like mad. And then we went on, along onto Brandon's. We followed that fence. Yes. And we knew we were on Brandon's, but then we couldn't see Grey Gables. And it was hitting your face, you know what I mean, when yes. you're on a motor. Of course. Really, really. Yeah. Look, remember what I said? There's the chair. This is the chair. Yeah. yeah. Follow up. What's in the spoiler room? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see a shed in the spoiler room? Yeah. yeah. Then from the top, you just come straight along and your view is a straight And Ken is explaining to Alex how one can get up to the top of Fleetwith Pike, which is on our right there. The quarry road proper. Yeah. And the quarry road yeah. is the yeah. road that... GCMS delivered and given me the thing of learning how to do it all first and all but it's out and Well David hasn't wound down yet, he's still talking about work and his other problems whereas Alex and Gordon have been off it for a year. The jobs.
play tennis in the winter. Indoors. Yeah. Cheerio! And so Ken Chinder left the main party and headed for Kirk Fell, which he had missed out on a previous walk. I've got the view, Alex. Ennerdale. Right now, lads, we are going up onto Brandreth and Grey Gable and Great Gable. It's very misty. And a bit windy now. We're about 2,000 feet up here. See what the time is. 30th of July, about quarter past two. You're probably right, Alex. Still very windy. Gordon in the fog. The one I had on last year, the snow. Deep down in the valley, this is the, the top end of Ennerdale, we could see Blacksail Hut, the youth hostel we'd stayed in the year before, before we'd climbed up to this point which is known as Windy Gap for obvious reasons. over this night, look. We're about the same height as this. A couple of thousand feet up. That's a nice pass, I'd like to go over there. That goes over to Escort. Here we are on top of Great Gable. Sorry it's a bit misty for you. Welcome back to the second half. That's the very top, the ultimate there, look. And then we're going down the other side. See Ken Chinna, back foot or back head, is it? We're all wondering about where Ken Chinna is now, because he's up Kirk Fell. He's got my cap at all. My blue cap. Soon after this we were found ourselves struggling down a very steep scree uh, through the thick mist and clouds. We completely missed the track till we arrived at Beckhead. Oh, we're about to, uh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Beckhead. Well, you can see the, the cloud base is fairly regular up here, yeah. just above there. It's rising. Bit of scrape, I mean, particularly because of it. 